an action. All right, I'm Debbie Ramsey. This is Vicky, and Vicky and I come up from North Carolina, go down, down to North Carolina. Okay. So the very first thing we talked about was doing an exit. We just did a starter, just a regular old plain starter. How do you do starters? And we sent the follower out, and I said, change to a shake hands position. The first pattern that we did was we allowed the followers to cut straight down slot and just did a simple side pass um, underarm pass or cut or however you're called. Now, again, I'm a lead down the slot and stay down the slot kind of leader, which gives the follower lots of room. But even if I did this and I just kind of kept it up, the follower could still choose and I would be going forward without doing any grabbing, right? Then I told the followers, if you want to open up, you tell the leader that you want to do something, right? And I'm like, oh, hi, okay. So my follower is giving me the eye. That means that they want to do something, right? But they're also slowing down and opening up. Yeah? So those are the two things and I'll show that at the end for the followers dancing with the leader here, okay? Then the pattern that we chose to do is I said this is a trip lead pattern, meaning that you need to go forward on two. And if, if you don't know how to do a two-hand whip, it's the same thing when you do a two-hand whip, you have to go forward on two to get that hand faster. Same thing on this one. So I'm going back on one and forward on two, and then once I get them to this position, I have to press in and back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, and send my follower out, okay? It can be done in six, it can be done in eight. So if I go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, that's an easy, simple six-count pattern, yeah? If I went one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that slowed down the rotation. And remember what I talked about, the follower being on the proper foot in order to leave the turn. What, and I would probably, I'm sorry, I would probably do that only in the eight count pattern. It's harder for the six, but it could be done, right? So one, two, three, and four, five, six, five and six, sorry, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That became a little takedown pattern. But the point is, is that I was waiting for it to get on the proper foot, and I was actually following her footwork. So, um, I, I'm, unfortunately, and I did it again. I'm thinking of what she's doing and I can feel what she's doing and what foot she's on because I'm trying to make sure that we're on opposite feet. See, we're on the same foot right now for whatever reason. doesn't matter, but I know now, see how I got her turn at the right step, right? So remember, in order to turn this on the end, the followers have to be on their right foot in order to turn clockwise, their left foot in order to turn counterclockwise. And so leaders, you have to know if you're on opposite footwork, it's something you just have to learn. They need the so, um, is there a leader that's not taping? Peter, you want to come do it with you? Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. I didn't mean to make you stop breaking, sir. <laughs> okay, so for the followers, we're just going to do the pass, right? So, or whatever. You can try and do whatever you want, but I'm on right. <laughs> okay, so watch, follower. Go ahead. So, when he, I'm already clearly telling you see how I opened that up, right? do it again. I'm clearly telling him, yeah, the beauty of this is that I could go, hey, hey, right? I've opened myself up to be able to slow it down. But if I'm forever going one, two, three, oh, okay, well, actually, you did great job. You grabbed me. So, okay, <laughs> that's it. Good job, my friend. But for the followers to know, if I know I'm going from point A to point B all the time and I'm trying to get to point B, take your time, okay? So let's just do an underarm turn. I don't pass them by two. Okay, I don't care what styling the leader has. Go ahead, ready? One, two. Now, do you see how I was able to slow him down? He didn't have any choice, did you? No, it's okay. They never did. All right, you guys, I'm Debbie Ramsey. My phone number is 919-274-4400. If you call after 3 a.m., you have to be the heavy for three or four seconds. Wake me up, and then you can talk. Okay, I'll follow you later. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you...